Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have fixed all the little things that you guys have been worrying about. Thank you so very much for letting me know. I did not see that those uh, pump jacks were disconnected. And of course, I have now connected these lovely sulfuric acid tanks. Um, I was thinking that if we put our, um, our blue circuit facility here, maybe we don't even need a train. We could technically pipe it that distance. I mean, if it's like right over here, which is kind of where I'm planning on putting it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, in other news, our... Um, um, our radars have found stuff. Look at this uh, landscape here, how we are curving down. I kind of thought it would just go way out, um, but it looks like there's a body of water there. Um, and in the north, I started placing, I just kind of place a few solar panels here and there when I can. And up here, we have this delicious 50 million copper ore patch. There's another one over here right across uh, near the pond. Really good station. I might take... Uh, this rail line up that way uh, for copper and uh, there's look at this 22 million uranium ore <laughs> that is so tasty um, and then there's there's some more millions of stuff uh, which is really good I'm really looking forward to getting way way out to where we can um, see very very large amounts of stuff so um, I'm hoping to get there one day we may not get there. I don't know. It'll be, it'll just depend how far we want to take our factory. But in any case, today we are going to start building um, the blue circuits because that's probably, I think that's probably the last intermediate product we need to build so that we can re revamp our whole world here. And these guys, these chests just keep on giving. We're really not producing that much stuff. Oh, that's right. I was going to, I was going to re direct a few of these lines. You know what? Let's go and do that. I think that's probably more valuable to do at the moment. So we'll take our building train and just go back to the base for a bit. Uh, actually, we can go to just have it drive on its own so we don't get any in, in into any minor scrapes um, because that's uh, very much not advisable to happen. All right, there we go, going back home. And I have to think about, do I want to redesign the whole station? Do I want to just have a massive train station right at the beginning of the bus? Because this entire area, really, if we look at the map, this smelting is going away. This stuff will probably go away. This could be one massive train station here. Of course, we'll get rid of this uh, backup power supply since it's kind of not really needed at all. At this point, we have so much solar energy, it's not at all critical to have. It looks like research needs to get done. Let's have some more of that. Uh, but what I wanted to do, because I wanted to grab, let's see, we could do one side of this stuff maybe. And just take down like two of these lanes. And I'm doing them. Oh, oopsies. I'm specifically doing them. Well, you know what we could do? We could do something else. We'll just do something really easy here. Um, like this. Okay, that's better. Right. Uh, and then these guys will just kind of suffer onward and we'll still get plenty of iron all the way along. I don't want to take from the bottom after the balancer because if I do that, something along the line is going to get messed up. So that's why we're splitting off before the balancer um, so that some stuff will get happening here. I would like this to keep on producing because we really need to get rid of a lot of the ore is still in that train station and stuff like that. So these guys have run out of ore um, and we're just going to use up a little bit more and we'll get the factory producing because right now I don't think it's producing any modules at all because of the lack of green circuits. Um, so yeah, that's and it wasn't producing any science, I don't think either, which is kind of a desperate situation. Oh gosh, I never put productivity into these uh, areas. We, we should do that. We should really, really do that. Uh, I kind of forgot somehow, I think. Oopsies. I kind of ran out. Gimme, gimme. Thank ya. I appreciate it. There we go. 
That way we can get some um, productivity happening in all the things. I think we need some here. Give me stuffs. Especially blues. Blues are very expensive. As well as, of course, purple and gold. Science will be produced a little bit slower, but that's okay. We're, we're not terribly bothered by that situation. I should put these uh, re uh, chem plants out because we're not going to need them. But they can be recycled and go into our next um, journey out into building land. I should really request something like 250 so I don't have to keep waiting for them. Uh, am I in a zone? Yeah, that would be a problem, not being in a zone to be delivered to. I really need to extend this thing. Can I? It doesn't fit there. Trapped. There we go. That's just fine. Give me a RoboPort, please. Man, I am so excited that that picker tool got added to vanilla. <laughs> it's very tasty. <laughs> it's so good. There we go. All the modules, all the time. Life is now better. I kind of wonder how many I have in stock now that I have not been using them for such a long time. Or I haven't been building them for such a long time. I've been using them but not building. So let's check our system of lodginess. Um, wow, no productivity modules at all. So that's bad. That's really not a good thing. Um, let's get 50 from the from the world. I want to check the train um, because I would like some in my inventory. But in the meanwhile, we are going to be saving resources just by doing that. I suppose it's not necessary, but it's nice to have the uh, the productivity going. I wonder how much science I have. Let's see. L. Let go. Science. Space science pack. We have 3.8 thousand, which is not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Well, soon our wood, our wood problem is going to be returning once again because, uh, because we're not going to have anything to do with it because these guys are going to go away. So life is going to be worse. Uh, it kind of, kind of makes me sad. How much do we have in this system? 48 thousand wood. Man, we need to have, we may need to just like set up a, um, I don't know, some automatic wood burning thing because there's not really anything that we need with wood. We don't need power because we have massive uh, solar generation. We don't need smelting because these guys don't take modules, so they're therefore less efficient. Hmm. We could make a bunch of power poles or a bunch of chests, I suppose. That really doesn't do much for us, uh, productively speaking. All right, well, having said that, it should be okay. Let me see, I need, I do need some modules with me. So I'm gonna go and grab some from this chest here, just to have some on me so that I can make my blueprints properly for our blue circuit arrangement. All right, and we'll go this way. Come on train, let's go. And we'll try to figure out how we want to split off and put that uh, blue circuit train going on there. Uh, one of the things that, uh, oh, that was right, actually the right way, nice. So I, I keep getting asked, uh, why do I have these oil stations? Like, why don't I make more than one product per thing? Um, and why don't I just deliver oil to one central location? Um, mostly it's just because it's less trains. I don't have to have lots of oil trains delivering stuff. I can just have um, the, the product trains coming out of there. It saves a lot of, um, worry and hassle for sure. So this is a tiny copper patch here. I don't care about, that's a lot of oil. No, it's not. It's, it's, I thought it was 28,000, but it's 2,800. Um, copper iron. Yeah. These things are just worthless to even think about those, uh, those patches there. And if we want to go further, we'll just have to kind of curve down or, or to even go this way. We could go that way. All right, so four green, uh, four, 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 um, 
blue circuits. That's what we're making. We're going to need at least three train stations. We're going to need to have reds delivered, greens delivered, and sulfuric acid. Now we could, because this is so close, we could pipe it in right from here. It's not actually that far. And it might be worth, worth our while not to have a train um, clogging up the tracks. It might be better for us. I really don't know how much it's going to save in UPS or if it's going to save anything or maybe the train is better. I have no idea. Um, you know, what the UPS impact of one train is going to be. Um, but it, it's also going to let us not have to worry about another train, which might be far more valuable uh, in the long run. So we're going to have our drop-off stations, probably, I'm thinking like two green stations and uh, one red and one sulfuric acid just to have it and the building train. So we can start building that. Let's see. Going to need drop-off stations, kind of like this one. I think this is a good one to have. The um, the style. We are using this, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. Let's grab this thing and take it where it's gonna need to go. Yes, hello, my Araminta. She's just jumped up on the chair next to Eleonora, and Eleonora is sitting in the middle of the chair. And Araminta would like to sit next to her, but I think we're having a little bit of a difficulty in that situation <laughs> on, uh, on which way to go. I think what I want to do is we're going to have the trains go to the right. They're going to come in this way and then go out that way. I think that makes sense. I should have had these guys do that as well, so there's not so much crossing I should have had the trains facing the other way. Though it wouldn't have mattered. There's still a cross involved there. All right. So, um, right. So we're going to go right turns to get out of here. So that means the parking lot's going to be this side. Okay. That will be just fine. I'm just kind of like thinking about how I want to enter the track here uh, and other stuff. I think we'll have... Um, actually, no, that's probably the, no, that's actually the wrong way. We need to have them come this way and come out that way. Well, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm, I think I'm overthinking it. I try to be pretty proactive about, well, how do we do this? How do we want to do it? Um, but it's probably not useful. So let's get our rails out so we can plan this thing. We're going to put this here. We're gonna have trains pulling in this way and then they're gonna go around that way to get out. Okay, rails out. Let me pull up my train closer. And this is, this is I think, um, a better solution because we could have the parking lot here. Oopsies. There's that train waiting. That's our building train, okay. You know, I, I overestimated the size of these things. All right, we're going to put this maybe here, and then we'll move that intersection. I always find that train and rail planning can be quite um, interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Okay, well, let me, you know what? I'm going to start with the parking lot. Goodness me, this is, I'm sorry about the um, just shifting stuff around, but. This is kind of what we're looking at here. Okay, I think this is what we want. We want to do this and we want to add lanes here. Just get rid of this chain signal there. And I'm gonna get rid of it on the blueprint. And we're, we recycle these blueprints anyway, so. Okay, parking please. Okay, there's another one. Um, we're liable to need several trains for this, so I'm just gonna make, how many is that? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Let's go for the 12 here. No, 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 I really didn't wanna do that. Oh my God. Let's just try that again. Try the whole thing again. I need some rails. Yeah, that was, that was distinctly a bad idea there. Okay, let's get these guys and a thing of signals and we shall try that again. 
color thing. One square of misalignment and life is distinctly worse. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is what we want. Okay, and then we'll need to put our chain signal at the front of this one here. And we'll have 12 parking spaces. That's probably overkill, but that's okay. You know, it's not... Uh, Nothing too scary to deal with. And here we'll have our, we need to get our curve right there. And then we'll get our rails in thingy. It's too bad it's not quite, uh, oh, it is actually quite happy with our current arrangement. This one needs to leave though. Excellent, okay. And we're good. We are doing great. Right. I think what I want to do is got to get that uh, train coming along here. Let's get this one going. Let's just straighten that out. Straighten that out. Put a temp station here. I think we just call it what number? No, no that not that number. This number. Number temp. Hope that's right. Building train. Yo, you got nothing to do? Here, I got stuff for you to do. I said, just delete this one and add this one, please. Um, there we go. Go here, please. There you go. And let that other train out the way. And here's where we're going to want to build our stuff. Okay, so let's get this to where it can connect. Right there is good. And then we shall add our blueprints. There we go. There's our first one. Fantastic. Put this into regular manual mode and back it up. Just into a parking spot. There we are. And that should suffice, I think, for now. Good. And let's delete this parking thing. Now. That's, this is now an interesting question. Are we going to need to refuel here? I think the answer to that is no, um, because everything from here, uh, blue chips are gonna go to the base uh, or a base possibly where they make uh, rocket control units. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna make rocket parts at the base or have them at their own separate areas yet. This is not decided. Okay, so here, oh my god, these trees. All right, we're going to clear the trees. We're going to clear some trees. This is just too much to, to walk through. It's quite awful. We'll need at least this much space. Okay, I don't want to even fiddle with it, to be honest. It's just like, no, I will not deal with you. And we'll get rid of, actually, we're okay, I think, on on those items. Very cool. So this station is essentially going to be a really easy one because everything that we need is going to be made outside. Uh, so we don't need to have any ratio calculations of anything other than maybe having two stations for green circuits. Um, and that's it. Oh, you know what? This one should be the building train one. Yeah, this should be the building train track. Okay, that's going to be the building train track. Right. Um, and I'll put that one there, down. This is aligned that way. Okay, so at the end, I should have left the station there. All right, I'm going to put down a new station in line with this so that we know what our building station is like. Let's get our building blueprint. Do, 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 do. Um, and when I say building blueprint, please guys feel free to build your own blueprints. That's the whole point of Factorio is to kind of come up with your own designs and do things. And, um, and everyone is going to have different needs. That's another kind of important thing to know because different people are going to have different styles of doing things and the ways they want to do things. So I'm going to change the color of this thing. We want it to be blue, blue purpley kind of like, like blue circuits are. Actually, that blue is perfect. 
That's good. This is going to be our blue circuits area. And again, we'll put greens here. Or let's make this red. We'll go red, green, green, sulfuric acid. All right. Or should I put sulfuric acid here? <laughs> oh my God. I'm completely like... Just overthinking this, I think. All right, let's just take this. What's there? Okay, I don't know what the heck is there that it's copying, but... All right. Okay, this, I almost thought I tripped the wires or something. Um, we're going to just copy this station here for that particular purpose. Get rid of this. And grab this thing. And I think we're only going to get one side. I don't really need two sides worth of stuff. It is just completely, completely unnecessary to have these guys up here all together. Take that out. Good. There we go. This is what we want. We want all of the train stations to be aligned here. Now, the reason I'm doing these stations in a very particular order is because it matters to a degree in terms of the length of distance the robots have to fly to get their produce that they need. Let's make eight pumps. Oh my god, I only have five. No, life is worse. But maybe not, maybe not. The, um, the train might have them. The train might very well have them. Look at that. See, I come prepared. Um, one, two, three. We'll have our three extra pumps there. And these are going to get the sulfuric acid. Now, finally, and it's the moment we've all been waiting for, the putting down of more stationy bits. We need three. Excellent. Okay, this one is going to be red circuits. And... Um, Gosh, we need more constant combinators. Okay, that's fine. We'll just cook those along. Put those in my inventory there. All right, and you're going to be green. Green. There we go. And this is all we need for blue circuits. There we go. 20 electronic circuits, two red circuits, um, and five sulfuric acid. Uh, and then we're then we're gonna just have this really nice station to to work for us. Let's connect all of these guys up. They all have they do have signals in the back. I'm not gonna worry about the differences in stack size on the combinators. That's just gonna be something we deal with because they are different. I think green circuits is 200. Oh no, look at this. It's advanced and green are 200 each and then blue are 100. So that, that, that'll work fine. I think Okay, this is going to be fine there. And I want to change these to storage things. I forgot to change it on my blueprint. looks like it. Um, right. Let's see what we need. We're going to need, that's the wrong thing. Not going to need these or those. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. We really will. <laughs> I'm like, we definitely will. Don't even change that KOS. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, we need all of the inserters. This is fine too. Undergrounds. I don't think we'll need undergrounds or belts at all. Um, so we'll just leave those off and look in this thing. No refineries or mines needed. No furnaces, chem plants, those things. Yeah, we need those. Okay, so we're going to go beltless on this one. Okay, looks like we're just about ready to, to go. Let's put these signals there where they need to go. And we're going to grab our... I love having the 90 degree curve. If you have, like, no other... <laughs> blueprints. This is the one I choose first. I know that sounds silly when you can easily make one, but it's so much easier to make one um, <laughs> when uh, when you just have the curve instead of like fiddling with the, uh, the rail planner. I mean, the rail planner is really useful for many things, but um, on occasion, it's just so much easier just to use 
a pre-made curve. All right, we'll go rails out. It's gonna go here. Ah, oh, I was I was hoping to make it exact. That's okay though. Let's put this down. There we go. And get our power poles spread along. Excellent. Life is now better. And we shall also connect up this area. We need to get our building train arriving. Get stuff going here. So I want to just color these things. Oh my god, they're all they all have the same name as well. Um, blue circuits building. Okay, cool. And you're going to be blue circuits acid. Okay, copy that. You're gonna be blue circuits reds. Oops, I meant to say reds, then S. There we are. And these are gonna be blue circuits greens. Okay, we're just gonna copy this whole station over. And we need to get our building train on the circuit. It's this one. Um, yeah, let's just put you on the circuit to go to Blue Circuits building. Uh, and then just go for inactivity. Boom. Oh no, God. I wish there was a way, and I hope this is coming, um, to move the stations about instead of having to redo them. Okay. There we are. Because I always forget. If I open a train for the first time, I always forget to go and just uh, do that. So, let's see. Uh, looks like these guys are requesting fuel, which we don't have. I'm sure that we have fueling. Let's make sure, though, and check. So, green circuits. Do you have fueling? No. Right. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Okay, that's an issue. Uh, red circuits, do you have fueling? You do. Reds do, greens don't. Well, um, that's an easy thing to solve. We're just going to grab that fueling plant and plant one right over here. Uh, in fact, it might be an okay thing just to get everything sorted out. Let's go and grab this, um, this fueling plant here. Okay, copy this over. Uh, the only thing we don't have is water. There's some down there though. Hmm. Or I could just run a water pipe. That would not be an issue. Or I could simplify this entire thing, which might be even better. That that I could do. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the simplified version, uh, where we don't use water. We're gonna have a non-water. Um, situation here. Okay, and I don't know how many assemblers I need. I Oh, and I gave away all of my my machines. KOS, what are you thinking? No! Alright, so I think I could put one here just to increase throughput there a little bit. Okay, I think it's in this car. Is it? Maybe. No, I don't have nothing. Oh, no. Oh, life is now worse. Life is now significantly worse since I don't have any chem plants. No. <laughs> this is so sad. All right. N not to worry. We are going to leap over the tracks here and find our own. It's going to be fine. We're not going to worry about this. We're going to go and pilfer some from these chests here. Look at this. These bots are so helpful. They're giving me stuff. I need three chem plants. And I need one refinery. Where are the refineries? There's one there. Oh, whoops. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. There's one in here. Okay. One refinery. And I think that should be enough. I have all the rest of the stuff we need. Uh, and what I would like to do... Um, actually, sulfuric acid is going to be a separate pipe. Well, and run through a separate route, uh, which was going to be different from this. Okay, we're going to make this backward. We're going to do this sort of thing where we're going to get 
our assembler here. This one's going to make rocket fuel. Thank you very much. Um, which we're going to need from solid fuel, which comes from these guys. And I think what we can do is have a chest here and uh, build it kind of, we're going to build this backwards. It's going to be interesting, no doubt. And then these other guys can be on the other side. That's just fine. Right. One and two and three. Good. Okay. This one, we want to go that way, that way. I think, where is it taking from there? Okay, cool. Right. So this should be working like a charm, we hope. Uh, we're going to get our refinery sorted out here. This might be ideal. Maybe. We're going to do... This is the most even. So I'm wondering if I should just do that. Because we're going to have one of each thing. Um, and more heavy on the on the heavy oil. I think, well, this is just... No, no, no. We're going to do it this because we have no water. That's right. Silly me. Okay. And each of these guys is going to make solid fuel from its own brand of stuff. And this is going to be petroleum down here. So here we go. We got, must take care not to combine the pipes here. That would be not a great idea. Okay. And all we need is some insertion of, um, what you call it stuff, crude oil. Okay, let's take this off into the wilderness. Does that, does that actually work? Yeah, okay. Wanted to make sure that it was connected. And this is gonna have such a minimal draw on this crude well, which we're not even using all of it anyway, that it really isn't going to affect anything. Ooh, something's going on here. Ah, that would make a difference. Let's get this back. Okay, so we're going to be making rocket fuel very shortly. I hope. Uh, anyway, we'll get a chest to supply the, the whole base here with stuff. Uh, I have no red chest. Drat. No. All right, fine. So this... Let's grab a chest and have this guy that way, connect up power, and hopefully when the building train comes by again, we'll get to have this area serviced with stuff. Oh, we need inserters like crazy. That's why we didn't get anything delivered, because I forgot to put the inserters down. I think I should have them requested. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them requested so that every time I go to the base, I have a stack of 50 of those filter inserters because they're so essential. And we already missed a couple of cycles of the train. Okay. Yeah. It's coming around again now. There it comes. But yeah, we should be able to get uh, more supplies now. It's interesting. Very interesting. Well, at least we're getting stuff done. Okay. Uh, I want to limit this thing to maybe like two squares of fuel. I don't see us needing any more than that. Um, but also in the meantime, I do need to copy over some of these guys to our, our trains. Uh, and of course we need to extend the network of robotness. Can I put this here? No, I need to consider like moving something over. Can I move that? Like if I put fuel at the end, that would probably be a better design because I could put a robo port between them. And this fueling thing would sit next to that pole. You know, that's, that's going to be a better design. So let's just move these guys over like this. And that hopefully will still enter the engine. I'm pretty sure it will. And that way it's less power poles, uh, more optimization, oh, better all around, essentially. There we go. And we can put robo ports in the middle here as well. Much better design. Much, much better. Okay. And then on the other side, we can also do this. Okay, good. 
Lovely. Now we can have stuff happening. We have our beginning little set of Lodgy and construction bots. I want to get the, the bot train. That's a module train. Is it this one? Here we are. Bot train. All right. After red circuits, I would love you to go to our blue circuits, please. I don't really think we're going to need much bot stuff over here just because we really don't have, it's delivered through pipes, so it's not really essential to get that um, sorted in any way. I think it's just fine. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I think we can do this. We're gonna take this, we're gonna do a pipe. Instead of using the train station, and we maybe we'll do the train station later, but at the moment it feels kind of pointless to have this, this track like this train circling in such a small, tiny area. It just seems silly to me. So we're just going to take this up this way. There we are. Oh, look at how perfect is this? That's so good. Boom. Right. We now have sulfuric acid. We're going to have sulfuric acid for days, man. We have all those tanks up there, all these tanks here. Um, and now all we need to do really is connect these to another place. But this is kind of like, you know, how to get this sorted. And of course, these guys need to point into the tanks to unload stuff. That's another thing that I almost forgot. Uh, and that'll be good because otherwise <laughs> we're not going to do any good filling up the train. We need to have it unfilled. And by uh, taking it off or on directly into or from tanks, you get the highest throughput possible. Look at this, they're already filling up so well. Golly, so much stuff. We are really producing that acid well. Um, but I think this is a good time to stop this episode because we're running out of time. So thank you so very much for joining me. In the next one, we will start building the blue circuit assembly line. So take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.